Tuesday's Georgia Senate runoff is important. It's really, really important to America and you to win $10,000. Hey, what's going on everybody? That's right, this video is about one of our free contests that we play. And over on the FoxBet Super 6 app, we can win $10,000 if we can correctly predict the Georgia Senate runoff. We know that's taking place on Tuesday. We know how really important it is, but they're giving us $10,000. Like it was when we made upload videos about the presidential debates contest, this isn't a red or a blue or which color are you. This is about winning money. And I want to help you guys put $10,000 in your pocket. So I've done some research. I've gone over some things. Look, the contest, you know, one of the important things to take note about this contest on the FoxBet Super 6 app is it ends at midnight on Tuesday. So we know that the expectation is the counting won't be over, mail, you know, mainly doing mail-in ballot counting, won't end at midnight. But this contest will end at midnight. So that's an important thing to know. The presidential race recap, all that, you know, ties into that here. Biden won 49%, 0.5 against Trump's 49.3%. So you can see that was a very tight race, at least in the presidential debate. Much is obviously going to be debated here in the Senate runoff. That's why they're doing a runoff. That's why it was so close. Biden won by about 12,000 votes. So that's it's something to keep in mind. The last Democratic senator in Georgia was in 2005. So that's a really long time. You're talking about 15, 16 years, and they haven't had a Democrat uh, senator in that state. Um, all the information I used to get this, I, I, I used various sites and various poll projections. I'll go ahead and link those in this video description so you can have those at your fingertips and you can you know analyze them at your own discretion and make your own things. One important difference here about mail-in voting, though, it does start being counted at 7 a.m. So you don't have to wait until the evening time like the presidential race to count mail-in voting. At 7 a.m., these counties across Georgia can start to count those mail-in votes. So maybe that leads you towards maybe a majority of the vote will be in by midnight when this contest ends. I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that that was a big difference, that at 7 a.m., you know, you can obviously, you know, start counting mail and vote. And then we all know that this is important because of the control of the Senate. I don't have to educate you enough to know that the that the current count right now is 50 to 48. And this is just massive, massive important. But again, this video, if you interpret this video and you're and you're interpreting red or blue, you're doing the wrong thing. I'm here to put money in your pocket and again, help you guys win that $10,000. So with that being said, let's jump on into it and see how we'll do. All right, so question one is who will be leading? You got here, uh, Purdue, and I don't know these. I don't. I really do, honestly don't do in terms of interpreting or pronouncing these these gentlemen's names. We got Purdue versus John. I'll, I'll go with John there. I'm going to go ahead and answer this one, Purdue. I, you know what? Look, in November, Purdue beat John pretty good. It was probably a pretty decent margin. He won. Obviously, now there's less candidates. There's only two to choose from now. But he had a pretty good margin back in November. So I like that Purdue had that. And he's a really popular incumbent. In, in my research and reading some articles, this guy's a really popular incumbent. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Republican and go ahead and take Purdue in this one. Question two is who's going to be leading in the other Senate run uh, runoff? Well, you've got Kelly going up against Warnock in this one. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and say Warnock is going to be the winner in this one. Look, he won in November over Kelly. He had more votes than her. Granted, she was going up against a really popular Republican challenger, which took some votes from her. So maybe now she's going to get those votes. But you know, based on what happened in November, Warnock with that lead, I like that. I like his chances of. I, I, if you're in the belief that Democrats are maybe going to win one of these seats and you're other also of the belief that the, that the Republicans don't want to give the power to Democrats and maybe you're thinking, okay, well, the Republicans will win one seat and Democrats will win the other seat. I think if, if, if you're along in that belief, then Warnock, I think, has a better chance of winning as opposed to the other Democrat, John. So I, I like I like that. And and also he's a minister. I like that, too. We know how you know religion is in the South. And again, he won in November. So I'm going to go ahead and take Warnock for number two. Question three is, will any candidate receive three million votes? I think this one's an easy answer and this one's no. Look, I'll in the article I'll link here in this video description is Biden got 2.47 million. Obviously, I said he won over Trump in Georgia, so no reason to analyze his numbers. 2.47 was the most that a candidate got. That's a lot to go from 2.47 million to all 300 or to 3 million. You need over half a million votes. That's just too much for me to get. I know, you know, in that presidential race, there were three candidates because there was an uh, independent, but I just don't see somebody making that three or, or 500 million uh, jump up. So I'm going to go ahead and take none there. And I think that one's relatively easy. 
Question four is who's going to be the last uh, to use the word Georgia in a tweet? Well, I looked at Biden's Twitter account this morning, and Biden used Georgia once on Sunday and once on Saturday. Trump used Georgia three times on Sunday and had the word Georgia four times in a tweet on Saturday. So I think it's definitely easy that Trump's going to say it more. So because Trump will say it more, I'll take the chance that he's also going to say it last. So go ahead and give me Trump as the last uh, one here to use the word Georgia in a tweet. Question five is what's going to be the percent of the irregular election vote that John is going to receive? I'm going against some of the research that I put that I'll link in this description. Some of the research that I show shows John actually winning this. But I'm going to lean on some other articles that I read that just talked about how popular Purdue was being that Republican incumbent. How, And I'm going to also lean on the fact that he won in November. I mean, that, that to me weighs a little bit, uh, weighs a lot in my mind. So I'm going to say John only receives 47 to 48 percent of the vote come Tuesday night at midnight. And question six is who's going to receive the highest percentage of votes in their runoff? So this is taking both both runoffs together and saying who's going to have the most votes. I'm going to go ahead and say Purdue on this one. I mean, I'm leaning on the fact of he won again in November and he's just a popular guy in Georgia. I mean, there's a reason why he's a popular Republican incumbent. The people down there love him. So, I mean, I'm just basing it on things that I read. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. So that's how I'm going to answer my six questions. I feel actually really good. I feel good about these. You guys remember on the presidential debate, we got five out of six right in one of the debates. We almost cashed in that one. So I'm hoping that the research here pays off for you guys and we can all split that $10,000 prize. Otherwise, enjoy. Good luck with your picks. If you do anything different, obviously I hope I was of help to you. Go ahead and like this video if I wasn't help to me. That lets me know that you know that I was helpful and we'll just uh, see how the see how the you know answers unfold on Tuesday. All right, good luck and I'll see you on the next contest. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we're celebrating the wins and making more winning bets. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.